add snow to your favorite image and animate it in Krita. This is a perfect cute little gift that you can send by phone to your friends or family. Hello and welcome back. Let me show you one way to animate this snowfall. Please understand that there is many other ways to animate in Krita. I tried to find the simplest one. I know it's not the best, but it works. Let's get started. First, it is important from the start that you know the size of your image. Here, I have an image that I downloaded from Pixabay. It is 4 inches wide and 3 inches tall. Create a new layer. Grab a freehand brush tool. Make sure that the pen pressure button is turned off. Click on the icon Choose Brush Preset. Make sure that the All tag is selected. In the search bar, type Snow. Grab this snow brush. Now this brush came from an old brush bundle that was available for download years ago. I believe this bundle is not anymore available in the resources page on Krida's website. However, no worries, you can create a stamp brush yourself, it is super easy. Let me show you how. Create a 500 by 500 pixels document. Create a new layer. We need to work on a transparent layer, so let's get rid of the background. Grab a brush that you can edit. I'll use my favorite brush. Leave the color to black. Decrease the size of the brush and start creating random dots. Now, don't go overboard. A few dots will do the trick. All right, I think that looks good, so time to create the stamp brush. Go to the Edit Brush Settings. Click on the Predefined tab. Create a new stamp. Name it Snow. Leave everything the way it is and make sure that the box Preserve Alpha Channel is unchecked. Leave the style as a regular. Click Save. Test the spacing of the brush by painting on your layer. If it doesn't work, keep increasing the spacing until you are happy with it. All right, let's get back to our document. The brush color is set to black because we created this stamp brush. Now we need to click on the X on the keyboard and it will switch it from black to white. Now test different sizes of the brush and decide which one is best for your project. In my case, the size 20 pixels looks good, so I'll use that one. We can now get rid of this paint layer. We don't need it anymore. Go to File, click New. Change the units of measures from pixels to inches. Type 4 inches in the width and type 12 inches for the height. Now remember, we have an image that is 4 by 3. What we are doing here is quadrupling the height to get a longer image. Hit Create. 
since we are about to paint snow, we need to change the color of the background to black. Hit X to switch back to black. Hit Shift plus Backspace to fill the background with your black color. Create a new layer. Before we start painting, click X one more time to switch the brush color. Use your new snow brush to fill the layer with snow. Cover the entire layer with your white snowflakes. When you are done, remove the background. And save this new document as a PNG file. Back to our image. We need to import our snow document, so go to Layer, choose Import Export, select Import Layer, find your snow document and click Open. If I zoom out and I grab the Transform tool and click on the canvas, the Transform box will appear, showing us the outline of our snow layer. As you can see here, it looks like I need to resize the layer a little. As a reminder, to increase the size uniformly of an object you have selected, and here we have selected the entire snow layer, hold the Shift key on your keyboard as you drag a corner of a transform box. And voila! Moving on, rename your layer snow. We are almost ready to start the animation, but before we do, we need to do one more thing. Right click on the layer, go to Add, choose Add Transform Mask. Now we are ready to animate. Grab your animation workspace, click anywhere on the interface to get out of this menu window. We are on the Transform Mask layer. Do not click on the snow layer, it's very important. Make sure to stay on the mask layer. If the layer is not pinned on the timeline, make sure to pin it. Click on the Animation Curve tab. Here is our first frame numbered 0. Click on it to activate it. Zoom out. The Transform tool is still activated since we used it earlier to resize the snow layer. So click anywhere on the canvas and the Transform box will appear around the image. The next step is very simple. Move the Transform box up, as I am showing you. Now that the transform box is placed, click on the button Add Keyframe to control scalar property. A bunch of channels are going to appear on the left. They represent what else can be done to your image using the transform tool. For instance, you could rotate the image, scale it or shear it. Using any of these channels will show us points on the graph. Since we are only interested on what we can do to our transform box position, we can turn them all off and only keep the two top ones activated, which are position X and position Y. Go to frame 45 and click on it to activate it. You know the keyframe is activated when it becomes orange. Back to the image, we are going to this time move the transform frame downward. Click Add again. Look what happened, as we changed the position of the transform box, the movement is represented in green on the graph. 
The only thing left to do is play the animation and test its speed. Click play. As you can see, the animation plays too fast. Open the animation settings menu. First, make sure to tell Krita that the end of the animation is on frame 45. Then, decrease the frame rate and test. Keep testing until you are happy with the speed. Go to File. Choose a Render Animation. Please make sure to check this tutorial on how to set up Krita for rendering if you haven't done so yet. In the Video section of the Window menu, choose Render as GIF. Choose a location where you want your GIF animation to be stored. and click OK. And we are done. I am going to take a short break and see you again next year. So allow me to wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year. See you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.